Welcome back to another Virtual DJ Quick Tip. Today we're going to look at the difference between a filter folder and a virtual folder. I am using the browser Zoom Skin by DJ Touchdown. It's got a little magnifying glass icon in the top. You can click on it, bring your decks back, click on it again, and have a full browser. Now we touched on the My Library tool in a previous video. It is right here, but if you happen to miss it, I will put the link down below so that you can go check it out. It does have the My Library overview as well as the browser Zoom skin, both in the description. You can download both. Today we want to look at virtual folders first. So we go up to our left hand side menu and select add a virtual folder. Now we'll just leave it named virtual folder, but you can name it whatever you'd like. As Soon as we start our virtual folder, this creates its own little kind of drag and drop menu. It's a static folder that you can use and you can just grab whatever files that you want and drag them in. So if you have a client that needs certain songs done and things have to be done, have to be played, you need to keep track of that. Some of the greatest things you can do is just drag and drop instead of making a playlist, especially if there's no specific order that they need to be played in. So if we go to the virtual folder, you can see that the songs that I've dragged and dropped are now in there. So that is basically what a virtual folder is. It's a static folder. Nice thing about the virtual folder is you can create another virtual folder and call it, well, this one will be a subfolder. And what it does is that you can use the main root folder for the entire gig that you're going to do and then have subfolders streaming off of it, such as maybe formalities or introductions or dancing or whatever folder you need to do. You can organize it that way. And then when the gig is done, you can go in, delete the entire virtual folder, and it doesn't affect your library at all. The next folder that we're going to look at is a filter folder. We'll just call this one a filter folder. And you'll notice that a little filter folder menu will pop up. So filters are basically examples, little pieces of script that you can create to pinpoint certain sections of your database. So for this example, we will use artist and then contains and Let's just use dead mouse for example. Now you'll see that there's a scope and that is because it's going to create this virtual folder or this filter folder inside the virtual folder. So anything in that folder that meets those requirements will show. But if you want to show your whole database, just click on scope, select database and everything in your entire database that says dead mouse will show up. And that is in the subfolder. Now you can easily drag and drop it out of the subfolder. You can now it's in the virtual folder that you're going to use for your gig. Or you can just take it completely out and put it on its own. So there's lots of different script ideas you can use. You can go in, you can edit, you can edit the script and uh, you can make it so, well, we won't use BPM for this one because all his BPMs are pretty much the same. But if you wanted to like pinpoint a certain BPM of songs, a range of songs, you could go by BPM and then you can use an operator is greater than or equal to, and we'll say 130 BPM. And that'll show you all the songs that are in your library that have a defined BPM of 130 or higher. So there's a couple examples. You can do that with just about anything. Uh, you can make complicated scripts, but nesting folders is a very handy tool. If you have any questions or you want to see a specific filter folder example or virtual folder or how to use them, please leave it in the comments below. I will make a video for you. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.